now we'd like to call Jawahar al-Badushi, Assistant Lecturer, University of Technology and Applied Sciences, to talk about preparing students for future skills. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masa al-khair jami'an. I will not speak fastly. So, hai, lazim trafaq, yikun indik sadiq min salala, ashan tatallam, maharat, فهم الحديث السريع وحافظوا على أصدقائكم من صلالة. My name is Jawahar Al-Belushi. I'm assistant, lecturer, lecturer assistant at the University of Technology and Applied Sciences. And um, I'm a TOT. I'm a trainer. And fortunately, I'm a tourist guide, certified from the Ministry of Tourism and Heritage. And um, I've done my master in UK, Coventry University. I'm specialized in entrepreneurship um, and uh, innovation. And um, I don't know, uh, I was very curious to understand uh, or to, to share my experience. To understand, first of all, the, uh, the problem that is going on in the market. Because uh, I'm a lecturer and uh, I've been in this field for more than six years. And uh, I was struggling too much with my students, how to teach them, how to get their attention, how to influence their behavior, how to influence their action as well. And I was like, uh, where is the problem? Is it with Jawahar? Is it with them? Is it, is it in the way of teaching them? And um, with, the, uh, with the massive change in the world, with the massive use of intellectual and artificial Technologies. And uh, with our big crisis, Corona, I noticed that there is a need to do something with my students, especially my students, because I don't treat them as a student only. I have to create a long-term relationship with them. This is the future of Oman. I'd like to treat them in a way that I would be treated when I was a student. So, فاقد الشيء يعطي. So this is, this is my goal. And uh, today I'm not going to go for more details, theoretical, yes. فَقْدِ الشَّيْءِ يُعْطِيهِ وَبِوَفْرَةِ Okay, so um, I'm not here just to give you research, or I'm just sharing my experience. And um, I, I would like to tell you about my case studies with my students. And there is something, some theoretical sides, uh, for sure. But um, more, more attention will be on my students. Um, uh, also, a training a program for uh, top managers and uh, middle managers uh, for hotel industry. And, um, uh, through like uh, developing the training program and um, I have to teach them the top communication skills and I've been through uh, a very excellent research it's been done in UAE and the uh, top managers and middle managers in UAE in hotel industry and um, uh, the top communication skills normally we know that in communication skills we have like uh, listening speaking writing all these things and out of 10 top communication skills most of the managers they were like saying that the most important communication skills is listening once you are a good listener, so you're going to be a good speaker, a good writer, and so on. And they were also saying that communication skills, it's not a soul of soft skills. It's very important to be with you as, as, as the person that you are using these skills every day. Now, with the future skills, um, I've, I've got this quote yesterday. Uh, the communication and collaborations are essential in the list of 21st century skills. And um, it's highly demanded for the future. I don't know if you are agree that uh, there is some things going on in the market. There is a massive change that is going on in every, in every single second. And um, one of the excellent quotes says that um, I cannot predict, this is 10 years ago, I cannot predict what I need in the future. 
and this is true. Because even if we are like training our students that I'm predicting that there will be a need for more artificial intelligence, for more like uh, robots, for more this, who told you? Because what's going on, it's haven't been predicted two years ago. So Corona changed our life. So my task as a lecturer, um, I know that there is a change. I know that there might be like plenty of change in our life, in the market, in the skills, in the jobs also. Things will go will going out. Things will will get in also. How I will prepare them? And I have to be honest. Our education system is, uh, especially in the higher education, in the higher institution, it's a feeding. It's a feeding way. So I have to come, I have to prepare my lecture, and there is a system. So I have to follow, I have a stick with the system, with the assessment, there is a system-wide coordinator, and I cannot go out of the course because the, some exams are centralized. So I have to be sure that all content's been delivered very well to my students, and I have to tell them that the exam will cover this, 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 and you have to prepare, to prepare them just for the exam. But what about the market? I'm not a teacher to give them a certificate. I have to go from teaching, teaching to coaching to this is, this is the, the way how to prepare your student. Because certificates will be by the end of this story. Ultimately, they will get their certificates. But up to which extent you are sure that your students are ready to the market? I have students who got four, 3.8, their GPA, and 3.5. They are a very excellent students in answering the questions on the paper, but they cannot stand outside, they cannot present, they cannot even, when you're asking by very normal questions, a worldwide question, who you are? Who you are? Some they cannot even define themselves. But for the market, they are looking for these skills, presentation skills, creativity skills. So it's very important and um, I, I can say that I'm a good friend to my students, to be with them much more. And um, I can share with them so many things. And I've learned when I was a student, Dr. Saif Shmili, he was teaching me in my first, he's uh, in Wazar uh, Ta'alim Al-Ali right now. Um, in the first class, an economic class, I did nothing, I, 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 I knew nothing at that time, okay. And economics, there will be supply, demand, oil prices, inflation. Uh, how it's going on? How I will analyze all these things? The graphs, for example, future expectations, reading of graphs. It was like struggling things for me. He was saying that I'm not here to teach you all these things. It will come. But every single day, I would like you to come and attend and tell me what's going on in the market, what's going on in the, in the world, any new. Just tell me, and we were just competing, Doctor. Wazara tadi waqat ittifaqiya. Wazara tadi waqat kida. Doctor, today kida saer. Doctor, kida. We have nothing at that time. He was just training us how to build a reflections between whatever you have, whatever you hear, to the business administration, to the economics, to everything. So, during the six years, and you and me, we agree that we have like. Artificial intelligence, and uh, nowadays companies, as Steve Jobs says, that I'm not hiring you to teach you what to do. I'm hiring you to tell me what I have to do. So it means that there is a high conditions in the jobs nowadays. Employers are looking for the best qualified um, staff or employees. They, they, they don't have to waste time with you, by the way. They don't have to pay for your preparations or training program. You have to compete by your competencies. So I know that these conditions also, we have like uh, what we call it a very emerging, strong uh, service industry nowadays. Most of the, like previously, we are more concentrating on the production industries, but nowadays we have a service industry. And also, like different moods of employment, these are the conditions, okay? And uh, do they have the right to choose? Yes, because they have the power, they have the money, they are the owner of their companies. So, the skills at this time, um, critical thinking, like uh, we as a lecturer, I'm as a lecturer, and we as a, like teachers, we have to stick with the content. We have no time to tell them that, yes, you have to do this, you have to do this. But in my own limit, 
I have to open something for them, give them case studies. I'm treating, okay, just give me, tell me what's going on in the market, even in their like social life. Sometimes they say that's Muhammad al for example, he came to Oman, it's fine. Happy to know these things from them. Okay, who is this person? Okay, tell me about this person. How you are getting benefits from them? Because they are very young. They are very young generation. They get boring fastly. And we have, we have to adapt to their level. We have to listen from them. And we have to tell, because they hate, but most of them, they get boring from the classes. They don't want to stay more than 15 minutes unless you create this passion, unless you create this attention, unless you motivate them to choose you as a teacher, unless you motivate, you, you motivate them and just you persuade them that, yes, I know, I will take a course and I will have a knowledge from this lecturer. This is the most important things. Now, nowadays, most of the companies and even uh, public uh, institutions, they are looking for like collaborations, working teams, creativity, problem solving. Do we have it in our universities? Not that much. Because we are aligned with the assessment and all assessments, either individual assignments, group assignments. I have, I have many of my students, they, they, don't, they don't enjoy working in a team. They hate it. And we are belonging to a collectivism, a culture, where we are working as a team. But the reality say that they don't, because they don't trust others. Uh, they don't give a chance for others just to tell them what string they have. They, they say that, no, because they don't do anything, they are relying on me, and they don't want to do anything. I know that I'm an A-class uh, student, so they know that I will work hard to get my marks, so they will get their marks for free. This is a culture. This is a culture. And try to spend too much time to tell them that, no, we are one person, but we have SWATs analysis also inside us. We have strength, we have weaknesses. You have to adapt others, because out of this class, there will be a market, there will be a manager who will force you to work in a team. So unless you will put too much effort just to tell them that no, the reality, working as a team, this is a strength. You cannot stand alone. Your mom cannot take care of this family without your dad. Your brother cannot be here without you. You need each other, even your neighbors. This is, a, this is our culture. But when the education is now, collaborations is very important. It's a highly demanded skill, whereas they don't adapt. They feel that, no, I get scared. I know they are lazy. Why? From where they got all these impressions? Because of this bad experience, but they don't accept failures. They don't accept to be with a lazy group. And sometimes this is, how, how do they per perceive others? Maybe they are not lazy. Maybe they are crazy. Maybe they have some things good. This is, this, is, this is the things that I realize. Students who are like sitting on the class, they are very quiet, they do nothing, they did well in their exams. And I have students who are excellent in my, in my class, they are collaborating, they are like adding, they are asking questions. They do everything. And they got job immediately because they know how to promote for themselves. They have a high emotional intelligence. They have, they are crazy. They are crazy in terms of how to do market for yourself, how to market, how to tell others who you are. This is the most important things. So within this limit, what I have to do now as a lecturer, this is the things. I know that the market is looking for all these things. I'm a teacher. I'm stick with the assessment. And... Um, and these are like some uh, things about the system are not providing enough of the skills that students and the workplace needs. Yes, unfortunately, yes. And it's not my mistake, it's not the education mistake. It's the system's mistake, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. And uh, last year, we had a big collaboration with the, fin with the Turco University of Applied Sciences. And we've been to Finland last year. And uh, we've, we've examined the education there. Um, uh, and uh, I was like, uh, what made you the best? What strength that you have, we don't have? 
why all your students are like enjoying their classes, they don't want to miss their classes, and I'm talking about the, the school system and also the university systems. And, um, and uh, I was so happy that they told me that we don't have anything related to theoretical course, nothing's theoretical there. We have problem-based learning, we are problem-solving uh, based learning, we have projects. We are motivating the students just to come and tell them that you're gonna get knowledge, you're gonna make money. You're gonna join this university and you will sign a contract with another international company or another Finnish company and it will give you a money also, you're gonna make a project for them. You are not here just, I'm not, I'm not testing your memory. Your memorization is excellence, but I'm here to see the values that you can add to me to the market, to the society, to the country, to yourself. So they got the passions to start their business and work and do their study, which is very good, which is very good. But we are on this way, but it will take time. And I know that um, Geotech uh, is doing a great job in this regards, where like students in their internship, and also another maybe private university, I don't know about them, who are like signing a contract for, for internship. Students, they can join the project, they can go and work with the, you know, with, the, with the company and do their work here. Also, it's paid training as well. And uh, just because of the time. Yes. So the things that I found it very um, like effective in order to fill these gaps or like uh, to prepare my students. Um, I'm specialized in entrepreneurship and innovation and I'm so also I'm teaching another business courses. In entrepreneurship because there is no exams, there is no exams at all, there is a group work, there is also, um, there is like presentations, there is like uh, some, we are like uh, preparing them or teaching them how to generate idea. Okay, let's go case study, let's do the case study, let's like have these approaches. We have three approaches in finding or generating idea worldwide. We have like, you have to discover the problem, you have to find the gaps, or you have to observe the trends. They are like enjoying this class because when I say that the trend is say that social media, I told them yes. TikTok, I told them yes. Look at the trends around you. What's going on? And look at the business, which is like cheesing all these things around and make a business like, for example, Mandoop, the Lili. All these like business idea, it means like solving a problem. Even management companies, because معظم الشعب الشعوب العربية توجهت للاحتفالات في فترة كورونا فزاد عدد شركات التنظيم. Okay, so I was telling them, yes, everything is around you. So they were in that field where to test the problem and find business idea, to observe the trend and find a business idea, to see where is the gap, why, what we need exactly. So they were enjoying entrepreneurship as a course with, the, with, the, with this much of skills. I noticed that they are very excellent, they are like collaborative enough, they are very creative, they are like very innovative as well. But I'm, I'm teaching the same students in another course, which is business course, where I have to give them study, I have to give them this lecture, this lecture, I have to tell them about the exam. Because the assessment there is different. So here there is a freedom, no exams. So they feel that, okay, I can, because this is the creativity, where there is no limit. Nothing will test you. But where there is exam, they are like very struggling and they feel that's not okay. With the same students, with the same students. Incubators also, this is one of the, uh, one of the options that we've had it also in uh, two of our branches. Um, just for those students who are like starting up their like businesses and we can incubate. Yeah, we can find investors for you, we can mentor your business idea. And I think in Sohar University, they had an excellent experience. I was working with them. University in, uh, in also Nizwa University. So, based courses also, stations, I'm supervising graduation projects. I told them go to the market. But the, the problem is that students, they don't have any passions when there is exam. So the idea is that let them choose. 
Let them choose. Sometimes just ask, tell me, like for example, yesterday I was asking them, um, would you like to have exam for this course? They say no, put 50% for participation. I was like, my gosh. So you're gonna participate and I have to I give you 50%. They say yes, we are free. Nobody will test our, because they say that I have too much knowledge, but I cannot memorize. This is the idea. So sorry for taking too much time. Okay, I would like to add more, but no problem. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I add something to you all. Thank you and so it's much, my Jawahar. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. That's really useful. Thank you, Jawahar.